definition of x, x is L sine theta, it's just a geometric um, feature. Then you take the different differential with respect to time. So dx dt equals L d theta over dt cosine theta, where omega um, is now d theta dt. Um, you could write it out as L d theta dt cosine theta, it wouldn't make a difference. Um, and remember, that's just an application of the chain rule. So you take the derivative again. So the second derivative is as there, L d omega dt cosine theta minus L omega squared sine theta. And then you move on, do the same thing where you had y equals minus L cosine theta. Um, we take the derivative, so it's L omega sine theta. Take the derivative again. Um, so that's the first half of the question done. You found d dv dt, which is this expression, and dx dt, which is this expression. So just make sure you can get that. So now we just need to use Newton's second law. Oh, I can move back, can I? Oh, good idea. So now I know the sum of forces in the x direction equals zero. Oh, sorry, the sum of forces in the x direction equals the mass times the acceleration because we're doing a dynamics problem, not a statics problem. So you do the mass times d x uh, d u d t, which is there. So uh -oh. still learning m times d u d t equals the sum of forces. Only force in the x direction is a tensile force in the um, rope holding the ball up. And you might want to think about where that minus sign came from. We do the same for the sum forces in the y direction. So m uh, times dv dt equals t cosine theta minus mg. Uh, so these are the two equations you need to get to. And now we're going to do some maths. So we're going to divide equation 1 by sine theta and divide equation 2 by cosine theta. So by dividing through by sine theta, okay, you get a cosine theta of a sine theta term. Sine theta of a sine theta is 1. Minus t sine theta of a sine theta is minus t. Um, similar trick for 2, but we just divide through by cosine theta. And that means that when we add 1 and 2, a lot of our terms are going to die. So we're going to get these pesky terms, which we'll treat next, in front of m, l, d, omega, d, t, cosine theta over sine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta. Um, but if you look, minus l omega squared plus l omega squared cancel. Just to summarize, if you're not used to it, we are adding equations one and two here, which you can do. Um, the tensile force minus t plus t cancels, but you're left with this minus mg over cosine theta term, m, l, d omega dt, um, so we just multiply them by their different denominators, you get a cosine squared plus sine squared theta on the top, which is just 1 over cosine squared, oh sorry, cosine theta sine theta, equals minus mg cosine theta, uh, yeah, I haven't made it clear, now you multiply through by that, cosines cancel, and you're left with d omega dt equals minus g over l sine theta. Let me know if anything wasn't clear. Um, hopefully you can pause the video at this point and that's, that's giving you, you can take a screenshot of that, that's the whole working.